Hi Bob and welcome back to the channel. I'm Rose and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to mod your Quest 2, 3 or Pro headset for custom songs on Beat Saber. In today's video I will be using a Quest 2 but the method for all three is the same. This tutorial is for people who have never modded before and for those who have modded but maybe it's been a while and you just need a little refresher. Either way I've got you covered we go over every step but the modding process is very picky so I do recommend you watch from start to finish so that you don't miss anything. Modding your game does mean that you won't have access to official online multiplayer anymore, but not to worry because I'll be showing you a way to switch back and forth between modded and unmodded so that you can still play multiplayer. I'd also like to quickly mention that no one has yet been banned for modding Beat Saber and I myself have been doing it for years. Before we get started, this modding process does require a PC. Mine runs on Windows, but you can also follow along using Mac OS or Ubuntu. I trust you'll be able to figure out the minor differences. You'll also need your Quest to be charged, a cable to plug your Quest into your PC, the MetaQuest app on your phone, and of course you'll also need to own a legit copy of Beat Saber. Let's jump in. For mods to work, you have to turn off app sharing and unlink all other accounts from your headset. You can turn it back on after you're done modding and link your accounts back, but just remember you will have to unlink all of them and turn it off every time you mod. Go to quick settings, then settings, then account, and make sure your profile is the only one showing and that app sharing is toggled off. While we're here, I'm gonna show you how to change the sleep mode on the headset to stay on so you don't have to keep it active the whole time. Click the back arrow, go to system, scroll down to power and change display off and sleep mode both to four hours. Feel free to change it back after if you want. To set up a developer account, this is going to allow you to mod your game. So click the link in the description below labeled dev mode. You'll need to log into your meta account that you own Beat Saber on. Then you should be brought to this page. If you're not, then just re-click the link. Go down to settings at the bottom and click on verification. Use the methods here to verify your account. Sometimes all it takes is the two-factor verification, but sometimes you have to do all three. Either way, make sure you get verified and it shows like mine does. Then click the drop-down, select organization and create. Choose whatever name you like. I'm just using my usual username. Click I understand, maybe read it, but up to you. Submit, I agree, and submit again. Now over to your phone, open the MetaQuest app, click the three lines in the bottom right, then devices, select the headset you're modding, scroll down to headset settings, developer mode, and enable debug mode. Okay, your headset is now ready to be modded. The next thing we need to do is check the status of mods. We need to figure out what version of Beat Saber is moddable and what methods to use. As of today, this video is up to date with the current modding process, but let's say you're watching this five months in the future, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that it's still up to date and that you don't need to make any adjustments. I also recommend you check out my channel to make sure this is our most recent modding tutorial. Make sure and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications while you're at it because in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be updating all of my modding videos on cool stuff like custom sabers, wall maps, and modded multiplayer. We play every Friday live on Twitch. I like to use two sources for mod updates. The first one is the Beat Saber Modding Group Discord, link in the description. Go to the Modding Announcements channel. You can see the recent post on Quest Modding. It gives us info on what methods to use and what not to use. We will be using QAVS and Quest Patcher for this video. And it says here version 128. I'm going to double check this at the questmodding.com link below. Click on how to downgrade. Modding is currently only available on game version 128. So this is our target version. Beat Saber is currently on version 134.6. You can check this by launching Beat Saber and looking at your feet. Our target version is 128 though, so we need to downgrade. Now we need to install SideQuest. Click the SideQuest link in the description below and it should bring you to this page. We'll be downloading the advanced installer. Once the download is complete, run the install and then launch SideQuest. SideQuest is going to allow us to sideload the QAVS 
aka Quest App Version Switcher, which is what we need to downgrade our game to version 128. You'll need to create an account, then plug your Quest into your PC and allow the pop-up in your VR. You should be showing connected in the top right corner of SideQuest now. If it doesn't show connected, make sure you allowed all the pop-ups in the headset or try using a different cable or a port on your PC. In the search bar, type in Quest App Version Switcher. Then click sideload. You should see it installing and it will tell you when it's finished. Now in the headset, click Apps, hit the drop down and scroll down to the bottom for unknown sources and launch QAVS. You can unplug your VR from your PC now if you want to, but you will have to reconnect it here in a few more minutes. You'll need to allow access, so make sure to toggle this on. This app acted a little weird for me sometimes. It would just freeze up or not continue forward. I just kind of clicked around randomly and sometimes had to hit the back arrow or just relaunch it entirely. So you might need to mess around with it a little. You're going to click skip setup assistant because you have me as your guide and I spent a whole afternoon figuring this out so you didn't have to, so you're welcome. From here, you're going to grant access. I got three prompts one time and two prompts another time. So just make sure you grant them all. Now click change app and make sure beat games is selected. Then go down to backup name and type in no mods or unmodded, honestly, whatever you want. What we're doing here is creating a backup of your current game so you can switch back and forth between modded and unmodded if you want to. Then click create backup. Once your backup is done, go down to tools and options and scroll down till you see the login. Click here and sign into your meta account that you own Beat Saber on. It should say you're logged in, but just to double check, go back down and make sure it says logged in. Now go to downgrade. And again, this app was kind of funny and sometimes it took forever to load or I had to restart it, so keep that in mind. It shows here my current installed version and gives me the option of version 128, which is our target version. So I'm going to click download on this one. Just make sure if your target version is different, you choose the right one. When my game finished downloading, it stayed on this screen. I thought it would tell me it was done or something, but it just stayed like this. So I did wait the five minutes and then I clicked up on backups to make sure it was there. If you see version 128, you're good to go. If you don't, then just repeat the last step. From here, click on version 128, then restore backup. This is saying it's going to uninstall your game so it can install the downgraded version. We already backed up our game, so I'm going to start the uninstall. But if you didn't back your game up yet, you might want to do that. Now it's saying, do you want to uninstall Beat Saber? We're going to say OK, then continue. Now it's installing the downgraded version, so click Install App. You'll need to allow the install, so go to the settings, allow, then hit the back arrow. Now continue again and install app. Then install again, continue. And finally, it should say finished and restored. Close out of that and let's launch Beat Saber to make sure you're on the right version. In the menu, look down at your feet to confirm. Now we need to install Quest Patcher which is going to load the mods for custom songs into our game. Click the link below for the Beat Saber modding group wiki guide, then scroll down to the bottom and click on download and install Quest Patcher. I'm on Windows, so I'm downloading the Windows zip file. You're going to open the file, extract everything, and then launch Quest Patcher. Now you need to plug in your Quest into your PC and allow the pop-up in your headset. Then once it loads in, click on Tools and Options and run the Quick Fix. After that is done, click Repatch App and make sure Quest Loader is selected. If you get this pop-up, make sure to allow it in the headset and then hit Try Again. This is going to take a few minutes to load. So click OK and let's load some mods. Back on the Beat Saber modding group wiki, click
click on install core mods from this page. Make sure your correct version is selected. We're on 128, so that's the right one. And make sure that quest loader is selected. Then click download all core mods. Then go back to Quest Patcher, click Browse, and open the mod pack you just downloaded. You'll see the mods start to load in. When they finish, go ahead and scroll through and just make sure they're all enabled. Let's go ahead and launch Beat Saber and make sure we're modded. Remember to hit close on the restore app so you don't undo everything we just did. You can look at your left and see the mods are here and click on more songs to search and download your songs. There are some filters that you can use on the left as well. You can download from the recent maps or type in a song name or an artist to search. Then just click on download. Yay, we have custom songs now. I have a one last thing that I wanna show you and that's how to switch back and forth between modded and unmodded so you can still play official online multiplayer. In Quest App Version Switcher, select that backup we made earlier before modding and hit restore. Go through all the prompts and your game is back to normal with no mods so you can still play multiplayer. To switch back to modded again, you'll need to restore the modded version and then plug your quest back into your PC and use Quest Patcher to run the quick fix, patch, and then turn the mods back on by enabling all of them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got modded and can now play custom songs. If you had some trouble, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button because my next few videos are going to be about custom sabers with Trick Saber, modded online multiplayer so that you can play along with me on my Twitch stream. We play every Friday and other cool mods like wall maps and poodle maps. We'll see you next time.